guys welcome back to an auto 14 video tutorial series my name is Azhar Slim and in this video tutorial we'll discuss about accounting reports and uh, here uh, one thing I want to clear to you uh, in auto community version the reporting only we can filter by dates and by some filtration and uh, we can download in PDF format we're not able to open and uh, filtration or make the all the graphics uh, each and everything like QuickBooks and uh, SAP, Sage or Oracle. At the end of this uh, uh, video tutorial series we will develop uh, modules of uh, Odo and at that time I will develop a um, reporting module and uh, will install here in our or integrated with our accounting paper module that time I will show you all this report and all the stats of our accounting so let's start here in accounting first we have here profit and loss if we go to profit and loss here we can enter the starting date and date means from date and to date here and here is a target moves it's a posted entries or all entries we can choose from here and if we want to show the debit credit columns we have to check this box otherwise not needed and it will generate for us a PDF report and that report will be downloaded currently um, I'm running this uh, uh, Odoo 14 in a virtual machine and in this virtual machine I didn't have uh, MS Office and Excel so I'm not able to show you uh, these PDF reports but I can uh, open these reports in a browser so let's uh, open now I'm going to I'm trying to show you uh, one report from 20 20 uh, 1st of January 2022 31st of December 21 and here I will check all entries and also debit card if I click on print so it here it shows configure document layout so save it this document we already discussed in our settings uh, module so I'm going to save here we have to put a logo which is still not otherwise this form it's not appear in front of us because we didn't complete uh, still our company uh, all information like our tax registration number and uh, company logo and favicon favicon means this one now this uh, pdf report is uh, generated i'm going to open it will open my browser here's uh, our profit and loss report debit credit and balance in our expenses and income here we have all our expense account and uh, here we have our income accounts so I'm going to close this uh, report and uh, next we have here a balance sheet same from date to date and posted entries or all entries uh, again one more time I'm going to download and uh, show you this uh, report with same dates from 1st of January 2022 31st of December 21 <clears throat> it's uh, loading and let's download this time it's not uh, asked from us the um, company uh, settings or uh, the logo and these things so I'm going to open balance sheet here we have our balance sheet here we have our liabilities then our assets and and the last only we have here liabilities and assets accounts in our balance sheet and as usual debit credit balance if i didn't check that uh, checkbox with debit credit it will show us uh, it shows us only um, our account our ledger and our balances that's it
next uh, report we have here cash flow statement cash flow statement for banks and cash and uh, here we have under daily reports bank report or later banking and uh, both entries or all entries here including initial balances means the opening balance and uh, here sorted by date or journal and partners if we choose here journal and partner it will uh, give us or it will make a grouping you can set by journal and partners and sorting by date it will show us sort uh, by date same from date to date and here the accounts if I choose here the multiple accounts like, uh, here the only outstanding payments sorry it's available here and uh, after next we have our journals we can choose from here the journal which we created and uh, here I think by default all the journals is uh, selected so if I print the bank book report will generate us a PDF after that we have a cash book daily book and age partner balances we have here so same uh, it's a receivable account payable account and receivable and payable account uh, we can generate from here and uh, we have to put here start date and period in days means from this date to until these days like uh, if I will put here 90 days it will show me from today date to until next uh, 90 days mean three months uh, report and after we have here target moves mean the posted entries or all entries it's a age partner balance next we have here partner ledgers our partner ledgers it's uh, here the like customer invoices our vendor bills expenses and our cash bank all the uh, journals uh, we can generate uh, by the journal uh, our partner ledger report and here we have a target move post entries or all entries and the reconciled entries if you want to include here reconciled entries and here we have to choose a our partner account like account receivable payable or both receivable and payable from date to uh, end date <coughs> sorry start date and end date here from date to date and here we can choose company the journals all the journal is here like depreciation cash basis taxes expense test which we created before and the point of sale inventory evaluation all these uh, journals is here and if I click here it will generate a PDF report for us for our partner ledger uh, depend on our partner only for receivable payable or for both okay next we have here invoice analysis if I click here it will show us the all the in uh, analysis of our invoices if I click pocket table here we can make I'm going to make uh, from here let's say journal wise only we have here one product wise okay and here I will open mm, day wise so here uh, is our inventory oh sorry uh, invoices uh, analysis and here I opened our products and here the daily basis report its uh, excesses and y axis basis if I remove this uh, from here now all is up here next we have our assets and asset under management we already discussed about asset and uh, this is the report of our asset we created before only one asset that's why it's coming here only one asset and uh, if I choose here depreciation months it will show me here December and January and here if I open 
posted it will show me the posted in axis and y axis so after um, asset reporting we have here general ledger we can uh, generate from here our general ledger report we have to choose here our journals company from day to date and here display accounts all or with movements or with uh, balance is not equal to zero is uh, which is not uh, the balance is equal to zero more than zero if uh, any account have a balance is more than zero then it will appear or all accounts you can choose here and target moves you can choose from here posted entries or all entries and sorted by date or channel but uh, including initial balance means the opening balances if you want to show the opening balances so next here we have a trial balance so it's our trial balance um, for the selected period let's say I'm going to select here from 1st of uh, January to 31st of December means uh, for current year with all accounts I'm choosing here all account and all entries now I'm going to print our trial balance is loading and will generate for us the trial balance let's open the trial balance and check what's inside here in our trial balance here at the top we have a company name and the trial balance is here the name of this report then it shows display account all account which we choose and from date to date here the target move all entries means debit credit and balance like in outstanding receipt there is a debit of uh, 27,395 there is no credit and here is our balance so in account receivable there is a debit credit and balance here I'm going to close our trial balance let's go and at the last it's not showing us uh, the sum in the debit credit is equal or not maybe in up nothing here these reports we have to generate by ourselves or we have to um, sorry not to generate we have to make a module uh, then I will integrate that module and I will show you these reports after trial balance here is tax export here in UAE there is a VAT and uh, same thing from day to date and company it will generate for us the tax report or VAT report or the tax according to your country and journals audit we have here journals or audit we have to choose here all the journals or any journal which you want to choose like miscellaneous operations and it will generate for journal order for our miscellaneous operations and then simply from date to date and here uh, sorted by journal number entry number or date and target moves posted entries or all entries in the company so here we discuss about uh, simply the reports of order 14 accounting and uh, as I told you before beginning in this video uh, I will develop a module and uh, I will integrate that module in this um, accounting module or app and that time I will show you the reports which is working professionally like uh, uh, QuickBooks, Sage, App, Oracle and there is live um, filtration and all the graphics uh, sorry this uh, charts will be available that time and at the end we have here configuration and we can set here from here payment on this setting we already discussed here under the settings here so payment term we can set from here income here add a bank account 
and recall installation uh, modules is here chart of account is here if you want to create your ledger account or chart of account you have to come here and uh, create here is our taxes you have to if you want to create more taxes like um, according to your country you have to go under taxes and then you can create a new tax you have to do the tax name and sub percentage of the price or fixed price or group of taxes or percentage and uh, tax included and the percentage of price here you can uh, define all the configuration and it will work for you here we can create our journals and physical positions our general group we can create our first journal groups groups then we can create our journals and add these journal under our journal groups here we have a, a account reports uh, configuration if I go to uh, here let's see we can create a uh, report name from here sequence and sign on uh, reserve balance sign or reserve balance sign here the uh, parent which uh, like uh, profit or loss income expense balance sheet asset liabilities such as um, and here is the type it's a, a view or accounts account type or report value financial reporting style is here it's automatic or title normal public. so just a styling type I'm going to discard it and uh, sorry and payment requires we have here uh, under payments save payment data is a very simple and easy from name you can, we can understand easily and uh, recurring template is here payment transactions and under management we have here uh, our follow-up levels and uh, product categories we can define from here our product categories and tax report and asset style we already discussed about it so that's why this video tutorial we uh, finish our accounting uh, module in order 14 and uh, next video tutorial we'll discuss about fleet management system